Hey, what's going on, Kenji Shinran Music 2K? Come on, come back to a video today. I'm going to be playing some Would You Rather, kind of playing, kind of just going through it. Um, there's not much to say about this. If you don't know what Would You Rather is, you're probably living under a rock. Um, it's a qu it's where they ask you a question. It, uh, there's two options, and you choose one of the options. That's it. It's very, very simple. But if you like this video, remember hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell. It uh, turns on notifications to let you know when I upload. And yeah, let's get into it. First question is die from hypothermia, cold, or die from hypothermia, hyperthermia. Sorry, I'm stupid. I read that before I even started recording. And I was like, I'm making sure I'm going to say this right. And I still said it wrong. Um, so one's cold, one's hot. Um... I honestly really like hot temperatures. Um, I was born the hottest summer of California for a long time. I don't think it's been beaten yet. I've heard, I, w I was a baby, so obviously, but I, w I heard it was about 120 degrees um, Fahrenheit, which is, which is 48.9 degrees Celsius. I just asked Siri that. So, I can withstand fairly hot temperatures, and not only that, but in the car that they drove me home in, um, it didn't have, like, the, the cooler was broken, like, the, the air thing, whatever it's called. So, I'd probably choose heat, because I can already withstand fairly, fairly good amount of heat. Oh, most people would rather be cold. All right. Have a wisp, or have a lazy eye. Now, I none of these are very neither of these are very life changing, but I feel like people with lazy eyes get made fun of more than people with lisps. So I I gotta go with the wisp. It, it's 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 a yeah. It's it's a thing I need to do. I am now talking like this for the rest of the video. Not really. Have the beginning of Circle of Life play when you when you farted, or have the chorus of Thriller play when you burp. Okay, when it says it's played, I wonder if that means that it's like coming from the noise I'm making, or it's just played by someone else. I would rather go with the Thriller, because that sounds awesome, honestly. Uh... Yeah, let's see what the percents are. Yeah, most people would agree. Well, most people who have played this, not most people overall. Have a Ford or have a Chevy. I don't know much about cars. I don't even have a driver's license. Uh, so, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Ford. Not many good, because a lot of my friends like, like cars, so... Only be able to see the world in a shade of red, or barely hear people when they speak. I already barely hear people when they speak. So, it's, yeah, I'm probably going to choose that one. Um, oh, less people. Oh, oh, it says in the comments, no hearing aids. Alright, South Park or Family Guy. I love South Park. I follow their Instagram account and they post amazing stuff. Um, I haven't seen every episode, but I did recently find out that there's a teacher named Miss Chokes on Dick. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's really fun. So yeah, I I I choose South Park. South Park's pretty funny. How, bro? I would ex I would have expected it to lose, but not by that much. Live to 120 and accomplish nothing notable, or live to be 50 and be well known for world changing accomplishments. Obviously, the 50, like, that's still a pretty good amount of time you have, and you know the age that you're going to die, so you know what stuff, like, you're, like, what stuff you should do before you, and also, if it says live to be 50, that kind of technically means that if, that you can't die to anything else unless you're 50. Bring people back from the edge of death but each time it takes a year off of your life or be able to grant wishes but each time you forget a beautiful meaning me meaningful memory from your past i can do both of these 
but I don't have to. So... I'm going to... I'd rather take time off of my life um, and help people in better ways than just uh, forgetting a very meaningful memory. So, 57. Nice. What's the next one? Spit at an angry Mike Tyson or spit at an angry Bruce Lee. Now, if I remember correctly, Bruce Lee doesn't have, like, any recorded things of issues with anger. And I believe Mike Tyson, hold up. Yes, Mike Tyson has bit off someone's ear. So I'd rather spit at an angry Bruce Lee because I don't remember him doing anything crazy. How? How is it less? Do people want do you want do people want to be Van Gogh or something? Van Gogh? Speak every language except the language of the country you're currently in. Or speak only the language of the country you're in, but know the meaning of every single word in that language. Ooh. So, this is the language of the country you're currently in. So, once I choose that answer, if I do, it's the language I'm in when I choose it, but I can move to another country and then speak their language. Because it says currently, and that currently means when I'm reading it or when I'm choosing the answer. Um, but see, the thing is, English is the widely most spoken language. Uh, whole, hear, hear me out. People will say that's wrong, and Mandarin actually is, and then Spanish, and then English. Those are languages that people are taught as their first language. Uh, Mandarin is the most commonly first language. But the most, the language that most people speak generally is English. Well, I don't really need to know other languages for any reasons. Like, I can think of, like, two cases it would have helped me in my life. Like, at school, when I meet some people that don't speak English. Because for some reason, the teachers think I speak their language. I have no idea why. So, mm, yeah, I'll just speak my language and know every word because that'd still be a pretty cool party trick like they're like you they'd say any word like they search up random words and you can tell them the exact meaning that'd be so cool shotgun a beer or funnel a beer okay neither of these are like life-changing events or anything um i don't know I'm gonna say shotgun a beer, just cause that sounds, sounds, I don't know, it just seems better. It just seems better. Have bright blue hair or bright blue teeth. Okay, I feel like one of these is a thing that people actually have, and the other thing is things that people don't have. I went through my emo phase where I dyed my hair purple, you can see videos on my channel of that, I understand. And I looked stupid because I had a mullet, but yeah, I'd, I'd rather have bright, bright blue hair than bright blue teeth. People would be like, what's on your teeth? And you're like, nothing. It's my teeth. Return a punt in an NFL game or spend 90 seconds in the ring with Mike Tyson in his prime. I'd rather return a punt because again, I don't want my ear bitten off. Turn a punt. And yeah, everyone would agree. I would assume you'd also get paid for both of these. But I don't think, because I believe if you were in a ring with Mike Tyson, you would get paid more. But I still would rather not get completely destroyed, because I'm very weak. Find out your girlfriend is pregnant, as in the next 10 seconds. Find out you can never have kids again. Again. Like, never, as in I can't adopt or anything. How do I find that out? I found out I'm not legally allowed to adopt kids. Well, I know that because I'm not old enough, but I think you have to be 24 in my state. I don't fully know, though. 
Oh, no, wait. It's 18. I'm thinking of someone who has adopted that is 24. I'd be cool with not having kids. I just want to have kids, but it's not like a necessity thing. I'd rather my girlfriend not call me in the next, like, 10 seconds and be like, yo, I'm pregnant. I, I'd very much not like that to... Oh. How? How? How is... What? <laughs> How? I, I just... I don't understand. I have no clue what people are thinking through. Be muscular with a busted face. Be busty with a gorgeous face. What? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. <laughs> at all. What? Okay, so... Positive negative, or positive positive... <laughs> Even though I'm a guy, I don't care. I'll be, I'll be busty, bro, bro. Of course, bro, bro, bro. Be considered a liar or be considered a cheater. To many people, I'm already considered a liar, so I'll just go with that. I don't know why. Probably because I lie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lead a boring life from here forward. Reborn with all your memories, um, into a baby of the opposite sex. Huh. These are two very unrelated things, but it's a very good match against each other. Like, it's not like a positive, negative, positive, positive type of deal. It's like an actual thing where I have to think this through. Okay, so one of them is like, it, it's, it's just boring life, not much. But being reborn with all your memories into a baby of the opposite sex... That's a thing that you can convince people to actually believe you because you could have proof of, like, memories of that person. And if you have all the memories, can you still talk? Like, at birth? I'll just be a girl who remembers being a guy. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's the majority of people. I, I like how I was thinking, like, that was... Never mind. Have your elbow joints facing the opposite direction or have your knees facing backwards? Huh. Isn't this like in a Phineas and Ferb episode? Ferb's grandfather got like backwards knees. Like he lost his knees and then Phineas and Ferb teleported it back to him and they were backwards. I feel like knees facing backwards would be a hard thing to be able to balance. Unless you're like born. I'm assuming it just spontaneously happens. Um, but having elbow joints facing the opposite direction, that doesn't really help with anything. Like, I can think of, like, you could hug someone backwards, like they're following you and you're, they're like about to mug you and you just hug them and they're like, oh, I don't want to mug, I don't want to mug this person anymore. See, that's like, that's a positive thing. So I'm choosing that one. Nice. Sleep in your parents' bed every night or weep every time someone tells a joke in front of you. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can just imagine that happening. Oh my god. Does that mean if I'm in a call with someone and they like make a joke, would, would that make... I don't think that would make me cry. Cause they're not, so I could face the opposite direction, start hugging them backwards with my backwards arms so they're not in front of me and I won't cry. So... If I have close friends, which are normally the people that will, um, that, that will know this about me, I just, they just forewarn me that they're about to tell a joke and tell me to look backwards. Boom. And, yeah, I don't want to sleep in my parents' bed every night. How? Would you rather string your opponent along for the entire fight or crush them from the beginning? Now, this honestly depends... On if I'm on the good side or the evil side. I w if I'm on the good side, I'd choose blue. Because I would give them time to think through their actions. Think maybe what they're doing is wrong. But if, if I'm on the... I'm, if I'm evil... Like, if I was that one Russian rhino guy and in Spider-Man... I, I, is, is what he would do. He would just try to smash him in instantly, like right at the beginning. I would hope I'd be on the good side, so I'm going to do that one. Oh. Oh, I, ge I guess maybe it was like, maybe they're referring to like an opponent, like in a boxing ring. There's a lot of boxing stuff. 
have Pokemon be real or superheroes exist? Huh. Superheroes exist. Does that mean people that already exist? Uh, well, it says exist, as in they always have. So I'm assuming that's like either they come down from the sky or something, or they are secretly people that have been living amongst us, or Pokemon being real. That's pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to explain that. I feel like it would be against the law if Pokemon were real and we were actually fighting with them. So, from the superhero things that I've seen, like, I'm specifically referring to Infamous Second Son, there are people who are power sponges. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bank off the fact that I'm one of them. Nice. Cool. I can possibly be a superhero. Or a conduit, which I may get killed because of. Get run over by a car and die, or kill five small children with your car. I literally cannot do the second one, because I don't have a car. Um, I walk everywhere, or I bike everywhere. I mean, I, neither. I do both to everywhere I go. I, there's not one specific one. So, um... Uh, um, <laughs> I guess since I can't do the first one, uh, I mean, I can't do the second one, I gotta choose the first one. Nice, most people are selfless. That That's nice to know. At least in the situation where they have to choose, they are. Would you rather, now this one's really dumb, eat only lima beans for the rest of your life, or be allowed to eat your favorite meal, but only three times a week. What? <laughs> okay, okay. So, one of them, you have to eat lima beans for the rest of your life. That's it. Only thing you can eat. The other one, you can't, you can eat anything you want. And you're allowed to eat what your favorite meal is three times a week. I don't even get it, like, once every two weeks. Actually, that's exactly how much... That's about exactly as much as I get it. So, obviously, I would choose that one. Boom. Yeah, that's very poorly worded. <laughs> get four hours of sleep per night, or get 15 hours of sleep per night. Now, I am personally more awake when I have lesser amounts of sleep um and obviously 15 hours per sleep uh, of sleep you would just like wake up and want to go back to sleep but you can't so and some some nights i literally cannot sleep so either of these options would make it so where i to where i do sleep so i'm going to choose the four hours per night because also if that is true I can do a ton of work in between, uh, like when I'm awake. Have your fingers always covered in barbecue sauce or have your fingers always covered in Dorito nachos cheese flavoring. Is this even an option? Bro, I could lick that the entire day. Like, bruh. Did I say option? This is a question. Or my question was, it is it not? It is. Never mind. <laughs> I like how this is worded. Be a cyborg or be an animal-human fusion thing. <laughs> I'm a thing. Uh, hmm. I'd rather be a cyborg and not a furry. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I feel like I don't care who you are. Being a furry is honestly weird as hell. I have friends who are furries, so I'm not completely, like, they're, they're, they don't allow, they shouldn't be allowed, like, rights or whatever, but the idea of a furry is weird, the people I know that are furries are kind of weird, <laughs> honestly, support Captain America or support Iron Man, I'm assuming this is referring to Captain America Civil War, um, I don't remember what the base of this was about, but I believe I would. Mm. Wasn't Iron Man's parents killed by Captain America's friend? I would support Iron Man. 
I, I, I don't know. I just feel bad. And I'm going to leave you guys with this question right here to answer in the comments. Have three nipples or have one nipple? So, I don't think it affects your life very much, but it'd be a cool party trick either way or a gross party. I don't, I don't know. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here, as I've already said. Remember to answer that question in the comments. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, ring that bell. It lets you know whenever I upload in the future. And I will see you later, Cake Nation. Peace out.